Let's compare highlighters and highlighter hues. Both of these products have a balmy creamy texture, but which is gonna turn out better on me? Okay, we're gonna try Glossier's Halo Scope first. The inner core is actually oil-based. I have it in the shade Quartz, which is a universally flattering, more of a pearlescent highlight. Wow, the sun hits that real good. You can definitely see the highlighter. It's cruelty-free, nourishing, and pretty easy. I would definitely blend with my fingers to make this look a little bit more natural. Now Kaja Beauty, Roller Glow. So you don't have to use your fingers for this one because it comes with a really, really fancy tool. A mini paint roller. And the hue is more on the pinkish purple side, so I'm gonna guess it's gonna look a little bit more natural. The only thing is, I feel that this tool won't work as well for my face shape, but let's try it out. I feel that it's a little bit harder to apply with the tool as opposed to fingers, so I'm gonna try my fingers and see what we get on. It's harder to see the highlight here, but I think from certain angles, you definitely get the pink hue on my skin. Results, Glossier's Halo Scope versus Kaja Beauty's Roller Glow Highlighter. Which should you like?